Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Oban Elliott versus Preston Parsons. Oban Elliott's 10-2, plus 130, underdog, 26 years old, 6 foot tall with a 72 inch reach, fighting Preston Parsons, who's 11-4, 3-2 in his last 5 fights, minus 160 favorite, 29 years old, 5-11 with a 71 inch reach, but... One inch in height for Oban Elliott with a one inch in reach as well. Preston Parsons is 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 interesting because his nickname is Pressure. You know, he has no TKO wins. He's been finished twice, three times total in his career, but he has nine submission wins. Though a lot of them, eight first round submissions. Now, he's only been two decisions in the UFC. He hasn't gotten finishes. Um, but he's also fought good competition. Lost to Trevin Giles. People thought Preston won that fight. I actually thought Giles looked really good in that matchup. I thought Giles won it. Close towards the end, though. And then beat Matthew Summersberger when Matthew Summersberger couldn't stop the takedowns to save his life. Having a lot of success on the feet. Couldn't stop the takedowns. Um, then beat Evan Elder before that in, in, in a, I believe, short notice for Evan Elder. Uh, lost to Daniel Rodriguez when Daniel Rodriguez was coming up in his UFC career. Boy, what a difference he was back then. Jesus, what a difference. Age is a mother. But uh, community is picking Elliott 76 to 24% of them. Plus 130 underdog for Oban Elliott is a little curious to me because, again, even though Preston is a finisher, you know, at all, at all facets, you know, Oban Elliott has five finishes, has been finished twice on the feet. Preston's not going to do that. He has no finishes well, with TKOs or anything like that. But uh, Oban Elliott, five finishes total. He has uh, four first-round finishes as well, but just diverse. Um, the, 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 the curious thing with me in this one is Oban Elliott is a guy that will take risks. Um it's so hard because, again, like the Val Woodburn fight, he hurt Val a couple of times. Val actually hurt him, I believe, as well. The issue with that is I don't like Oban taking chances all the time because Preston Parsons is the guy that does capitalize on small mistakes. And because his nickname is Pressure, he's always going to be coming. Now, can Oban hurt him and finish him? 100%. I believe that wholeheartedly. He has the power. He has the durability, even though he does get hurt sometimes. Actually, a lot in his fights, but it comes back. He's been finished two times, like I said, against Michael Fig Figlock and Medis Fleminus, who was 8-3 and three at the time. He's 13-5 and five. now. He's 36 years old, so that's about it for that career. But still... He's fought pretty good competition, 3-0, 12-7, 2-1, 6-2, 16-4, and 7-1. And and he's passed those tests, you know, decisions, but he still passed those tests. I do like the the ability for Oban to uh, change the game plan a little bit. Again, the problem with it for me is, um, I forgot who I was talking about, Preston Parsons constantly going. He's always in his face. You know, in you know, strikes landed per minute is four point two seven to three point eight three for Oban. Accuracy is fifty three to fifty five for Parsons. Absorbed two point one seven to three point one eight. So there's there's that little hiccup, but takedowns three and a half to four and a half. Takedown accuracy is fifty to forty three. Takedown defense is zero for Oban Elliott to eighty for Preston Parsons, and he averages three point one submissions a fight. That's the difference, is even though I do think Oban can do well in the exchanges and in and, and some scrambling abilities, I think Preston's pressure inevitably will be what wins him this fight. This takedown grappling st statistics that he has, the 80% takedown defense and the zero for Oban, and he's, he's not crazy accurate at 43%, but his takedown defense is very good. He has... You know, eight first round submissions, so you already know he's going to be looking for it. I would suspect Oban's going to be trying to strike with them, kick those legs, stay on the outside, and make Preston go to him. But he doesn't, he's not going to have to make him do that because Preston's going to be in his face from start to finish. This is a sneaky, 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 if you don't know, now you know fight. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. This fight's going to be fun. Guaranteed. 
Subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you at the next one. Peace.